Hello, everybody. We are on to book six of Blue's Clues, Blue's Garden. Look at all those fun vegetables in that bucket. And Blue and the shovel and little steaks that show pictures of vegetables and then some vegetables in the garden. All right, this should be awesome. Blue and I are so excited. Some of the vegetables that we planted in our garden are finally ready to pick and eat. Will you help us figure out which vegetables are ready to pick? You will? Great! There's the shovel and the pail and a little worm that Blue was looking at. And a pretty little birdhouse and a little water bath, bird bath, and a butterfly and some flowers. And there's Steve and there is the beautiful garden. What do we have there? We have some cucumbers. We have some tomatoes. We have some carrots. Oh, I see. We have some green tomatoes and some red tomatoes. And this is either cabbage or lettuce. Probably lettuce, but I'm not sure. Maybe something different. Let's see. Oh, and the tree. The tree has pears. Hmm, which vegetables are ready to pick? Oh, that big head of lettuce. Yeah, that looks ready to me too. Two cucumbers. Okay, let's see over here. The head of lettuce. There's more than two, but I guess they those two right there are the ones they think are ready. Yep, I see them. And three bright red tomatoes. One, two, three. Not any of the... We're going to do one, two, three. We're not going to do the green ones. I bet they're nice and juicy. They're not going to get the carrots at all. So what should we do with the vegetables we just picked? Good thinking. We can use them to make lunch. Oh, they're in the bucket. See, they're all in the bucket. Blue, what do you think we should make at lunch? Oh, Blue wants us to play Blue's Clues to figure out what she wants to make for lunch. Terrific. I love playing Blue's Clues. Oh, what is it, Pale? This sign fell down? Do you know where it belongs? Oh, which one fell down? What's that a picture of? Oh, a tomato. Hey, here's the tomato plant, but the tomato on the sign is red, and the ones on the plant are green. Right. That's because the tomato on the sign is ripe, and the ones on the plant aren't. You are so smart. So the sign that fell down does go with the tomatoes. It's just a different color because those tomatoes aren't ripe. We did it! Here are the tomatoes. The tomato plants and now the sign is back where it belongs oh do you see what i see what's that oh a clue tomatoes are our first clue great but i think we need some more clues before we try to figure out the answer to blue's clues is it on a red tomato oh it is 
Oh, look, there's a little snail. Hi, Mr. Salt and Mrs. Pepper. We just picked some vegetables from the garden. We're going to use them to make lunch. Would you like to join us? Oh, it looks like they have some blueberries. Hola, Steve. Hola, Blue. We would love to join you for lunch. We picked some fresh blueberries this morning. We will use them to make a pie for dessert. But first, we must wash them. That's a good idea. Thanks for reminding me. Blue and I need to wash the vegetables. We just picked two. We'll just put the vegetables in the sink and turn on the water. A clue? You see a clue? Where? Aha, the pot. Good job. So what does Blue want to make for lunch using tomatoes and a pot? Yeah, you're right. We should find our third clue before we try and figure out the answer. Hi, Mailbox. We've got something. You've got something for us today? <gasps> Look, Blue. We sent our film away to be developed, and now we have our photos back. I love looking at pictures. They help me remember things that we've done. Thanks for the photos, Mailbox. Do you see the little envelope there with pictures in it? And there's Mr. Mailbox. Or I guess just, just mailbox. There's no Mr. or Mrs. Steve's holding up a picture. Wow. Where are the pictures we took when we planted our garden last spring? What do you think we should do with them? Great idea. We'll put them on the fridge. Oh, but the pictures are all, are all mixed up. We want to put them in the ref on the refrigerator in the same order that they happened. Will you help us? You will? Great. What do you think happened first? Okay. We have a pail that we're watering. We have a shovel that we're digging. We have some little plants that have come up. And we have some seeds going in the ground. So what do you think happened first? Do you think the seeds went into the ground first? No. I think maybe they had to use the shovel to dig that hole. So first they dug a hole. And then they planted their seeds in the hole. And then they gave it a little bit of water. And then they had beautiful plants. We did it. Our photos are all in the right order. I remember now. First, we dug holes in the dirt. Then we put the seeds in the holes. Then we water the seeds and they grew into plants. Cool. Mm. Do you see what I see? What's that? You see a clue? Where? The Super Bowl. That's our third and last clue. We have all three clues. You know what that means. It's time to go to our thinking chair. And they have all the pictures on the refrigerator. In the order, too. Now, what do you suppose Blue wants to make for lunch that uses tomatoes, a pot, and a soup bowl? 
Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Something hot and tomatoey. Something like tomato soup? What do you say, Blue? Did we figure out what you want to make for lunch? We did? Hooray! See the tomato, the pot, and the bowl. And Steve thinking hard. Oh, there's a thumbs up, and it looks like everybody has bowls of tomato soup <gasps> and a fresh salad. Thanks so much for your help today. As you can see, Blue's tomato soup is a big hit, and we even made a salad with the lettuce and the cucumbers that we picked. Bon appetit. Well, they've also got the tomatoes in there. They have a nice salad. Blue's a funny friend garden. You will need grass seeds, dirt or potting soil, a paper cup, markers, water, and a sunny spot. All right. You can hit pause on that if you can or don't know if you can on YouTube. And figure out how to make yourself a copy of this if you want to make those. So you enjoy yourself and have a good day. Thanks for listening.